morning. It's Andrew and Stacy. We are getting ready to start the CNO Canal 100. It's a first time for both of us, and we'll be checking in about every two hours. We'll see you later. Hi. Good morning. We just passed the first turnaround. It is about 10 after 9. No idea what our mileage is. Yeah. Uh, first mile okay. took us like 20 minutes, so no idea good, even good what pictures. our what our pace is. And we're having fun. Uh, we passed. We're we're pretty much almost to the back, but that's cool. We're just taking our time, eating, yeah. and eating, eating some more, yeah. eating, drinking, and that's it. We'll see you see you in a couple hours. Bye. -bye. Hi. <laughs> Hi. It's a. Uh, 10 after 11, we just How's stopped <laughs> at an aid station and had some lunch. What do you call it? Yeah. Some potatoes. Lunch. Potatoes. It's salt, good. Peanut butter jelly. Some Coke. Oreos. Mm. Water. Coke. We're eating a salt. lot. Peeing a lot. Salt. Both yeah. good things in an ultra. Eating and peeing. We'll do it as long as we can. Yeah. Yeah. Go kidneys. <laughs> See you later. This is a great day. I, He's lying. I sounded like I was intoxicated right there. <laughs> Andrew isn't recog peeing anymore. I recognize that I'm slurring my speech. It, oh, there. Oh, that's better. <laughs> that's going to be funky. Um, I'm not supposed to lie. It was really hot in Harper's Ferry. I feel great. And it, was, it kind of felt like a long stretch, and we both ran out of water. I'm a cold weather. And um, Andrew's cold. hit kind of a... A low spot because, well, he's no longer peeing. So he's a little dehydrated, a little too salty. and um, too salty. 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 <laughs> and, but we're on the mend now. We've got about two and a half miles till our first drop bags. That's exciting. Yeah. So yeah. hopefully we'll pull through this minor glip. Glitch. Glitch. Glitch, glip. Yeah, glitch. And <laughs> we're about almost a quarter of a... The way there, we're about mile 25. One quarter. So hey, we almost ran a marathon. Ah, almost, we're not there yet. All right, bye -bye. ciao. Noon. <laughs> it is three o'clock. We just came out of an aid station. Um, we've got six miles to the next turnaround. <laughs> this is super on my teeth. Um, Andrew's coming out of his rough patch. Yeah. I'm starting to have a little bit of. Tummy issues, I think, from too much sugar, so I just took a tum, so hopefully that helps. Yeah. Um, our I'm spirits, not forming sentences, though. Our spirits were a little low, I think, probably because of the heat. It's pretty hot. Yeah, we're struggling with that a little bit. Um, but it's 3 o'clock, so should be through the worst of it now. And when we... Yeah. We hope. Maybe. And uh, we'll be seeing our families really soon, which we're really looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, excuse me. <laughs> comes with the territory. <laughs> and that's about it for now. We're still hanging in there. <laughs> running, walking, walking, running, eating. Okay. Not as much peeing going on, Not but... Not as much, but a little still bit. going. It's kidneys Yeah. Going. We both stopped sweating for a little while, a while back, but we're sweating again, so that's a relief. Oh. Alright. Catch you on the flip side. <laughs> Hi. Hello. It is 5.05. We just left the turnaround. I ate a lot of food. It was an amazing aid station. Oh I think that might have been. I was Sandwich. really, really hot I ate and not some, feeling uh, so swell. Ginger snaps. I, so I stood. They had a bin of watermelon, watermelon. And I just stood there and ate watermelon for like Banana. 10 minutes. We had only planned to be there for five, but no, we made it 10. Potassium. Ugh. So, we so got we've got. Cold rags. These are great. We've got 20 miles until the so called halfway. But the halfway is actually 58 miles, so it's it over halfway. Clear. So we're uh, we're doing all right. Vital signs are good. We're keeping it pretty steady at a 14 to 15 minute pace. Something like that. But then we're stopping for a long time at the aid stations, so can't really go a whole lot by that. Um, yeah. But we're moving, and hopefully we'll both be on a more even keel now. We've yeah. each had a little low moment, and the watermelon really helped. So. All right, good. good yeah. Salt my eyes. All right. Bye. Hello. It's a little after seven. We saw our families, and uh, that was fun. It was. We, we spent a little more time than we planned. That was my fault, but <laughs> yeah, it was good. It was my fault too. Yeah. Well, you know, photo ops. <laughs> we just stopped at a really great aid station. All the aid stations have been great. The volunteers are really amazing. Yes. And you can tell they've. 
been trained on exactly what to do. And they've really helped us. I'm, we're not either of us in this. No, I'm kind of um, lazy right now. A little tired. So we're tired. <laughs> um, we're not, I mean, we, we're hurting, but not hurting, hurting. Like, we're still running. Not right now. <laughs> uh, but we're doing running intervals with short walks in between to keep the heart rate down. And, uh, you know, we've got twinges and aches and pains, but nothing is, like, detrimentally hurt right now, which is pretty cool because we're in the 40s, um, yeah. which is longer than Andrew's ever run at one time. Yeah. And almost to my limit. Well, well, yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, moving right along. Can't say we're in a, like a super high place right now, but we're not in a low place either. We're just kind of <laughs> chilling. Not yet. It's still pretty warm, but not for much yeah. longer. It's going to get chilly real soon. So, And it'll be dark next time we see you. So sorry about the glare from the headlamp. See you then. Bye-bye. It's 9 o'clock. Um, Andrew dropped. He... Uh, about a mile and a half from the last aid station, he got dizzy to the point that it, it was hard for him to even walk. He got real disoriented. And so we took our time and walked to the aid station and sat for a little while and started shivering real bad and cramping and got real, real disoriented. Um, so we waited a little while, got some food in him, and uh, after about 25 minutes, it's still. He was in pretty bad shape, so he decided to drop. I waited a few minutes to be sure. So I was there for probably about a half hour. Um, so I'm on my own now. I'm not quite halfway. I'm probably at about mile 49, close to mile 50, 14 hours. So I definitely have some time to make up. And uh, I'm a little concerned about that because this is usually when I would be slowing down. Um, so I'm going to try my best. That's all I can do. I've never run in the dark by myself before, so this is new. But I've been running in the dark all winter with Joey and Andrew and I ran a few times, so at least I'm not totally freaked out by it. Um, I'm about probably eight miles from the, uh, the check-in. I think I'm still ahead of the clock okay, but I'm a little worried about how much I'm going to be slowing down. I've got a pretty nasty blister on my my pinky toe. Um, well, that's all. All right. Bye. Hi. It's about 10.40. I'm going a little early this time. I've been trying to do it about every two hours. Um, but uh, I'm hoping that when we hit the 11 o'clock hour that I'll be either climbing up the horrible mountain to the uh, check-in or already at the check-in. Not really sure how far I have. I thought I was about a mile and a half, and then I just passed two runners that said it was more like two, so I don't know. Um, I'm doing a little better <laughs> emotionally than I was at first. Um, I've fallen twice, which totally sucks. Got some road rash on my hands and banged up a little, but nothing serious yet. Um, just catching myself on my hands, which, you know, hopefully I won't. Um, I feel like I'm making okay time. My last mile was a little bit slower, but I stopped to go to the bathroom, so that might have been it. It could just be that it's late and I'm tired. And, um, I've been walking for a bit. My, my stomach got a little upset. Not upset, just uh, cramped up, so trying to work on my fast walk for right now. And looking forward to getting to the check-in and checking in, knowing that I beat the clock, hopefully. Oh, please, God, let me beat the clock. And, uh, changing my shoes. So, um, trying to remind myself right now of things that I've gone through to get here. Just to keep myself moving. Like, those days when you step outside and it was so cold it hurt to breathe. But we did it anyway. Getting up at 5 a.m. On a before school so I could get some miles in with Joey. Um, you know, running the marathon course and then tagging on another five miles the week before the race. Just, I don't know, just trying to remind myself that I've worked hard to get here and there's no reason why I can't do it. So, so that's where I am right now. 
um, yeah, hopefully after I, when I see you again, <laughs> I will be checked in and on my way the other direction for the final 42 miles. So, all right. It's one o'clock, and Andrew's back. Yay! Hi. I was sitting at the, the check-in, just chilling, minding my own business, popping my blisters. And then he comes in. He booked it. Um, I guess you want to tell him you took a little nap. I may miss it. There you go. <laughs> what? Tell us your story. Quickly. Uh, it is nap, soup, coffee, run. Yeah, so he just, he made up... Lots of time and caught up to me at the check-in, and now we're back at it. Uh, we're both having some tummy troubles. Um, we're trying to to walk fast, but our fast walk isn't nearly as fast as what it should be. So we're gonna keep working on that. And um, yeah, we're tired, very tired. But it is one in the morning, so I guess it's to be expected. Alrighty, bye. Three o'clock in the morning. Um, Andrew, like I said, caught up to me, but then he was really, really struggling with exhaustion and just uh, really exhausted. Yeah, it's the only way to put it, I guess. And so um, I kept trying to push the pace, and he just couldn't, his body just wouldn't do it. So I. Uh, I moved out ahead of him a little bit because uh, he kept wanting to fall behind. And uh, then I, you know, waited a couple of times, but I, I was getting very frustrated because I'm really, really worried about the clock at this point. Because um, we were moving really slow, leaving the aid station or at the, um, the turnaround. Um, and so I knew we couldn't keep that pace in beat the clock. So now, you know, I'm trying to push the pace a little bit, and uh, I lost sight of him, and I feel really bad. I kind of feel like a jerk, because he worked so hard to catch up to me, but I just, I just want to beat the clock so bad and finish this thing. You know, and I was, I don't want to be frustrated the whole time, because I feel like I need to go faster, so... Um, that's what's happening. I'm hoping that as the sun comes up, he gets a second wind and, and pushes on. But uh, right now it's 3 o'clock, and well, I gotta book it if I'm gonna make it to the next check in. So, bye. It's 5 a.m. Um, it's dark. I'm tired. I'm really, really worried about the clock. I, I'm walking as fast as I can. I'm afraid to run because it's so dark and I don't want to fall anymore. And I'm okay right now, a little bit of like, maybe like 10 minutes ahead of the clock. But if I slow down, I feel like at all, or if something goes wrong between now and the six miles to the turnaround, then I'll get cut from the, I'll get dropped from the race. And that would suck so much. Um, and then I have three hours to make it to the next one, which is 10 miles. So normally, 10 miles, that's like two hours or less, but <laughs> um, my feet are pretty messed up. Um, at the one eight station, they uh, duct taped my one foot, which was great. It helped a lot, except after I took a couple of steps, it busted the, the blister. <laughs> So my sock got all squishy. It's pretty gross, but it's a uh, sort of a dull ache right now, so it's okay. Um, yeah, that's about all I got. I'm feeling pretty low, but the sun should be coming up in the probably half hour, 45 minutes, and I'm hoping that that makes a, a big difference because at least I'll be able to to see. So, yeah, see you later. Morning, 7 o'clock. I came in 
six minutes late at the aid station. <laughs> and they, uh, they called the director and he's letting me continue on. Now whether or not that'll be the case at the next aid station, I don't know. Depends on how much I can pick up the pace. I am trying to add in like little one minute shuffles and then walk to catch my breath and bring my heart rate back down and then as soon as my heart rate's back down I add in another one. Can't do more than a minute yet without my heart rate skyrocketing but um, hopefully that'll, as I wake up and loosen up, hopefully that'll happen. Um, I sobbed through a good bit of the early morning. Um, I got to the aid station. I was a mess. But they took good care of me. Got some coffee in me and food. And I got a bag of watermelon. That's always good. Um, so, yeah. I'm, as far as I know, I'm the last one on the course. <laughs> and I'm just trying to get there in time. <laughs> All right. So I'm back on track. It's nine o'clock. I I uh, am a mile and a half from the checkpoint, the last checkpoint, um, and I have to be there. I'm not sure if it's 9:30 or 9:45, but um, I've managed to to run. Well, <laughs> if you can call it that. Um, but I guess shuffle the last probably five or six miles. I happened to, well, my dear friend Lisa came and met me on the bike. She didn't pace me on the bike because that's not allowed, but she hopped off the bike and ran alongside me pushing it so that she could ride it back to the house when she was done. And then while she was with me, a jog, uh, runner happened to run by a lady, Adrian. And she uh, started talking to us and asking us questions about the race. And then she ended up pacing me for like the last, well, until just now. Just, she was only going to run a couple of miles and ended up doing eight so that she could, uh, so she could run with me. Which is awesome. Fantastic. Um, so, between the aid station volunteers getting food in me and coffee and letting me continue and then her just happening by. I think this might just happen after all. Now, I still have a long way to go. Doesn't seem, might not seem like that to other people. Because it's like 12 miles. That's like from my house to the tunnel and back. But, you guys probably don't know what I mean by the tunnel. It's a normal run for me, but um, it's going to take me a while. I'm still moving pretty slow, but hey, I'm moving, and I'm officially still moving, I'm still officially in the race, and that's really wonderful. So, um, yeah. Uh, I missed the 11 o'clock hour. It's 11.19. Um, I don't know, like five, six miles away, I don't really know. Um, my, uh, I, my stomach has decided it has had enough. Actually, it decided it about, like, two and a half hours ago. So I'm having to stop a lot, and that sucks. But, um, I'm just, I'm very tired, and I'm moving pretty slowly. I'm trying to run, well, shuffle as much as I can. Um, it's not so much pain, it's just I'm tired, and this is taking forever, forever. I feel like five miles, because I'm going so slow, is an eternity. So, I still don't know if I'm going to make the cutoff. Um, it's going to be close if I do, but at least I'll have run, <laughs> finished 100 miles cut off or not. So, I just got to get through the next hour and a half, hopefully. Hopefully. And, uh, then I'll be done.
smile. Way to go. Good job, good job, good job. Nice.